Hello everybody in the world, it's Shen Blazer and your host and this, well, today, this is not going to be a Let's Play, but eventually we're going to do a Let's Play of this game. Uh, this is a game called March of Eagles, also made by Paradox, same company that does Crusader Kings, Victoria, EU3, and all that jazz. And this is a transitional game, this is just like Sengoku. They're working on EU4, and EU4 is going to be their what do you want to call it, their flagship products, so they're going to post a lot of their uh, investment information on so that people will try to get more investors for their company, they're going to say, you know, EU4 is all this, EU4 is all that, they're going to promise everything to everyone, but the way they're working on it is they release these little in-between games, so this one's between um, EU3 and EU4 comes after Victoria 2 and Crusader Kings 2, and all of these are going to be little progressive steps using the Klauswitz engine to improve the series, well, the, se the series of strategy games in, in total, so that players will have uh, better control, better visual information, all the different um, map modes are changing and everything. And these are all little incremental steps as they work towards EU4, and EU4 is coming out sometime in the fall. Uh, or, the, or the winter, it depends how long it takes them to finish the damn thing. But anyway, someone bought me this on Steam, so I'm going to fucking play this shit. Um, I've been playing it quite a bit, actually. Uh, and I've played through as France. That was pretty fun. I've played through as Sweden. That was fucking horrible. It was just really difficult. Uh, I played through as Austria. That was fun. I played through as the Ottomans. That was horrible, but... I guess fun. I don't know. The Ottomans are kind of in a bad situation. I played through as Prussia, and that's... Prussia's probably going to be the most fun uh, nation to play, because they have not the best start. They're in kind of a weak position. They're pinched between France and Russia, but uh, goddamn, they have a lot of potential. Because their economy is really, 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 really strong in these provinces, so they, they can produce a good army. They, they do have good uh, tech. Uh, and tech in this game is very uh, different, because you only this game only lasts 15 years. It's 1805 to 1820, so you can't really do a whole lot of technological advances in a 15-year period. And you enter the tech tree at a certain level. Every single nation in this enters the tech tree at a certain spot, and they're stuck with that entering spot. And every starting spot is different for all the different countries. Like, France has a fantastic land power spot. Uh, Britain has a fantastic naval power starting spot. And then uh, you progress on the ideas from there, and you'll eventually get... Ah, whatever. I don't need to explain the entire game, you motherfuckers. So, what I've been playing uh, yesterday was Russia. So let's see, where's my saved games? Oh, these are my saved games. Oh, I played as Spain as well. Spain was actually really cool. Alright, so we're going to get in back as Russia, and I'm... I'm uh, pretty much done with this Russia game. We've achieved all of our goals. The only thing we have to do is kick uh, France out of the land dominance and kick Britain out of the naval dominance because we, we have higher dominance than they do, but they currently have the quote-unquote dominant status. But as you can see, we've annexed Persia entirely. We've annexed pretty much all of the Balkans from the Ottomans. And Sweden and Denmark, yeah, we gobbled them up. So let's get a game here. Alright, so one of the things that is really cool, well, sort of cool, in this game is the idea of a coalition. So you start out, when the game begins, Britain and France are at war with each other, and they can invite people to their coalition against the other nation. So France will invite... Uh, Switzerland, and Italy, and Tuscany, and the Papacy, uh, and Al they usually invite Algeria and Tunis and stuff like that. They'll invite random nations to, and Denmark, they'll invite random nations to their coalition against Britain. And Britain will invite, uh, like, Austria, and Russia, and Sweden, and people to their coalition against France. So, I don't think there's any up right now, are there? Oh yeah, they're both up. So the anti-British coalition is up, and the anti-French coalition is currently headed by Prussia, but Britain's usually the one that runs this coalition. And then they invite people to their coalitions, and, and that's it. Now, it has this option to show all coalitions, but I don't think it's even possible to have a coalition against anyone else. 
because at one point Austria and and Russia, both of us, were at war with the Ottomans. And I thought, okay, that'd be cool. Let's make a coalition against the Ottomans, and then we can high-five each other while we're kicking the Ottomans' asses. But it just didn't happen. It's not possible. It, it shows, like, a little flag. If, if there's no coalitions, if there's no coalitions, it'll show a little flag icon up here, and it'll say, uh, you have the ability to start a coalition against... And then it doesn't really tell you. Um, but I think the only ones that it allows you to start a coalition against are France and Britain. Maybe they'll change that in the future. Because I would love to have... Right now, I want a coalition against Prussia. I want to invade the shit out of Prussia. If we go to... D -d 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 dominance map mode. Now, when we select our own nation, it'll show us these little uh, icons on the screen. These little colored specs. And these colored specs are dominance positions for us. For Russia. So the green ones are land dominance, and the blue ones are naval dominance. And this is how you win this game. This is how you win March of the Eagles, is you capture all these dominance points for your for your country. You don't have to get all of them. Uh, let's see, can we show, yeah, victory conditions, here we go. So every country has their own dominance position. We click on France, we can see they have most of their dominance. They have all these green ones and they have a lot of the blue ones as well. So they have achieved a lot of their dominance things, but they don't have all of them. They don't need all of them, they just have a lot of them. Uh, if you click on Britain, you can see they still have a lot of their naval ones. They don't have any of their land ones, which sucks for Britain, but what are you going to do? Uh, Sweden, oh, that's us. Awesome. Uh, Prussia has these dominance positions, that's fine. Austria has these, that's fine. Uh, the Ottomans, yeah, that's really lofty goals for the Ottomans. But anyway, every country has their own uh, dominance goals, and we've actually achieved pretty much all of ours, but we can't uh, we can't win the game until we kick France out of the land dominance. Oh, look, we took over naval dominance. I didn't even notice that. I thought Britain was still the naval dominant country. Uh, Alright, so all we have to do is kick France out of land dominance, and then we win. End the game. That's fine with me. So, right now we have a bunch of armies over here. We're going to invade Denmark at some point. Do we still have a truce with them? No, we do not. So we can invade Denmark right the fuck now. Are you guys at war right now? Yes, they are. They're at war with Britain, and Egypt, and Austria. All right. Uh, let's. What's everyone up to? Oh God, people are talking on comms. Let's invade these motherfuckers. Uh, guaranteed. So I got a stab or fleet issue in a uh, system with me in Hassan. Oh, oh, we're invading the Ottomans. Of Condor. Time. Interesting. So I'm staying cloaked. <laughs> okay, our oh, navy's down one. here. Okay. Who is it? Hmm. Creston. Is she a uh, member of Royal Pirates. Thank you, please. Oh, you guys go there. Wait, no, we already have someone going there. Um. Hmm. Neutral to us. Yeah, link, link the pilot in blue, please. Oh, sorry. This way. There we go. Oh, yeah, put the speed up. Goddamn, put that speed up. Oh, we have to do a new idea. So this is how the tech works in this game. You all start at zero, tech zero, or tech one. I think tech, no, tech zero, I think. And then you, you get to choose what you put your tech into. Every time Can you, you link get... it? Just drop I thought I did. Ideas. It didn't drop, sorry. God, they're talking a lot. Every time they get 200 idea points, you can add a new item. You can click on a new tech. And you just get it instantly. You just pick which one you want. So we've gone for Russian ideas. Each country has their own quote-unquote country ideas. And they're all different. What the these fuck? Are the, these Man, are the I'm coolest dead. ones, because they kind of make your country uh, more historically accurate. So these techs are I kind was of killed what, by... Oh God, they're still talking. Who just killed me? That's all. So these are the texts that Russia did, or focused on, between Imperial, and Sinoball, If you played as France, France, then they would be called French ideas. If you played as Britain, they would be called British ideas. And each country has their own set of ideas. They're all geared towards that country, whatever those countries' strengths are. So we've gone for the first three Russian ideas. We're also going for command ideas, which gives us, you know, strength on the ground, because we're not really fighting a naval battle. Sinoball. We haven't nice. even taken any naval fucking ideas yet. We took one land movement, took a couple fire ideas, whatever. Alright. So, when we arrive in a town... Oh yeah, that's one interesting... And I literally just built that ship. <laughs> these, uh, 
territories. You can t you can conquer them. Yeah, just I by stopped walking the link character, and when I looked like, down, I was we're like, "We're going oh, to walk nice. onto Coachelli here uh, in a couple days, and when we walk onto it, we're going to capture it automatically." However, they do Danny not count me towards See, your. <laughs> I can't be. Uh, I gotta learn to war score not do stuff when there's people uh, in system. that war. To get war score, you have you to go to expenses? these states that have a name. No, it wasn't. That have an, a Thankfully. little pop-up name just like Angora, Clonia, Adalia, Rhodos, Kasseri. These all have pop-up names. It just annoys me. And I literally had that ship for less than like, ten minutes. <laughs> fortified cities. It has a and I stopped to Lincoln a little ticker called character City. And yes. Pop. And all the other places have Saw the other city. Guy warp no. off and it just means that it's not a place that you can conquer. And it doesn't you count towards after. your victory score. So these are the ones that count towards your victory it's score. Right and when you land around. on them like this, uh, if you if they have a small enough resistance, you can just hit assault, and it'll tell you what your chances are of actually capturing that city. So we're gonna go ahead and assault this one, and that should go down no problem. This one's a little too tough. It's got 2,000 defenders, and if you hover over it, it says this assault will probably fail. So we're just not gonna do it. We'll wait for that city to fall on its own accord. Now we've already taken care of that area. Oh, they're all dead. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Move these troops down to here. So, at the beginning of this, the Ottomans had Moldavia and Wallachia as satellite nations. And satellites are kind of like vassals in this game. Uh, they I'll do take whatever my you do. If you join a war, they'll always find join the same war with you. They were they'll down always by mod. fight on your side. And when we yeah. fought the Ottomans, in Esmes, we, right we right forced now. these... We forced the audience to release these two countries from satellite status. And when you force them to remove your satellites, they don't become independent nations. They instead become your satellites. And I thought that was really cool. We didn't have to do anything. And these guys just became our satellites when we when we released them from the Ottomans. So now they're fighting our they're helping us in our war. They have troops down here. Not very many troops. Whatever, they're helping us. It's cool. Are you in the right game? Yeah. And uh yeah. Oh, did we pick? Oh, we didn't pick our new idea. He said um, he was in the. He was on the atri gate. What's this going to do? Like guard in the in the yeah, let's do that. We have a lot of guards. So right. let's do that. I just said this is destination oh, atri. Guards. We've achieved yeah, naval dominance. But you're not in control of your all your war parts. He's gone. He's going Whatever. back to Basel. Uh, and we're close to France. We'll get France eventually. Oh, we have troops stuck over here. That's not cool. Taking attrition as well. Can I get access through you? Nope. Can I get access through France? We just finished a war with France. Yeah, so they don't want to give us access. Damn it. Hmm. I guess I can pick him up by boat? I don't really have a whole lot of transports. I got two transports. <laughs> Let's go pick up these boats. Okay, Britain joined a coalition led by Prussia. So Britain is now in the coalition Not against France. Tree. That's good. Okay, just assault that place. Okay, this place fell. So now that we've taken this city, we can demand it. When you go to peace out people in this game, you have to uh, you have to click on the cities that you have taken, and the cities only qualify as the ones that have the little pop-up names, like this one, this one, and this one. And once you okay, click on them, you'll you get that um, sort of region of good. towns. You won't Come just away. get that one city, you'll get that region of cities. So, like, these three cities would give us this entire region. And this city would give us that region, which is really huge. That's what she said. So we're going to press the war, because we've already beat we've already beat the Ottomans in, like, four different wars, or three different wars, so they, they really can't defend against us. You've we got took all this right shit So we're going to kick I've their ass. I've got a uh, disruptor. I hope you don't mind. Cool. Uh, bring you on down to Konya. And you're coming down to Cars, that's fine. Oh yeah, we also took Baghdad from them and Kuwait. I've had to the fleet. Poor guys. And you can see Britain's been active. They've used their naval power to bring a whole lot of troops down going. here to northern keep Africa. To and France even took to some land here from Egypt. So everyone's active all over the place. Spain took some of Morocco here. That's, that's kind of cool that everyone's doing their own thing and they're actually getting things done in this short time frame of this game. I kind of don't want to do this war with Denmark. Do me a favor. How do I do Fleet Finder? I forgot what the hell that is. Fight France again. But France Click on the so E of your character sheet. Above your characters on the left on the bar. Your Neo bar. Yeah. 
Yeah, just chill in Oldenburg. Social, I think. What's the uh, support limit here? Nine. Got it. 12k Thanks. down. Go down there, 12k. And Actually, just leave my tab, press find fleets. Mine should be there. Yeah, I got you. Half again. Cool. Thank you. You can drag, if you go to click on the E, go to social, you can then drag the fleet window, the fleet icon to the bar, and it'll stay on the bar. Nice. There we go. Now no one's going to take attrition over there. And we took Versa. Come on down to here. Maybe we can use two armies to take that down. And, uh, oh yeah, that's fine. So this isn't really a let's play here. This is just kind of watching me mop up. They got rid of the fleet I've timers that done what stopped you from jumping. The majority of That's nice. what needs to be done in this campaign yeah, to win. Ten seconds now. Um, I'm not sure I can get my so, ship so safe. So if you, if you uh, undock and then redock, come on down here. Dick up their navy a little <laughs> bit. That's nice. But they've extended the aggro timer to sixty seconds. I can live with that. They are coming. No, they're docking. No, they're going down here. Okay, let's see if we can catch that navy. I don't think so. Oh yes, we caught their navy. Sweet. And a line so you can see we have 15 ships like of the line, and they have three ships of the line, and nobody has anything else. Uh, we have a decent commander, but he only rolled a one. They have a pretty good commander, but he rolled a two. Let's see. Difference in leader skill makes it at negative five attack, and difference in skill. oh plus five attack. Sweet. So we have a better leader. So we're gonna win this very easily. Battle of Cars, okay. Fortress under siege, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Cars, 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 cars. Cars is a level 2 for it. What's our chances? It's a good chance, we'll take it. And Kanya. Ooh, 3,000 guys in there. We're not going to attack that. What's our chances? No, it's, it's red. I like how it color codes it so you, you don't have to think. What are our chances? Want me to warp Aquila? Yellow. Let's bring yeah, this army down here, yeah. and then we you're, can you're just so you're... fucking slaughter that thing. Yeah, if I need to, I can go Okay, covert. so do they have any navy left? Cool. That's the question. Where do we sit there? Just navies? holding the gate open. Yep. We're, we're kind of blind in this gate right now. Economy, economy, manpower, manpower. <sighs> I don't see their navy anywhere. I mean, I'm sure it's somewhere here. Ideas, coalitions, wars. God, that was so laggy. Provinces, wars, wars. Oh, you can see past wars. Oh, that's really cool. Wow, we, we have been involved in so many wars. This is crazy. <laughs> Second war of Russian aggression. Third war of Russian aggression. Fourth war of Russian aggression. <laughs> wow. We have a lot of wars. Well, I don't see Naval, well, Navy quality, yeah, but. Nope, no sign of him, don't know where he is. Mm. I'll try, I'll oh, try. Well, I, we'll see the there. problem is, they used to have a huge Navy, they used to have like 36 large ships, or ships of the line, and we fought them with our like 12 or whatever we had at that time, and they just fucking slaughtered us, it wasn't even close. So I'm hoping we can stand up to them better this time, but we'll see. Uh, let's, maybe we can meet up somewhere. We can access in Naples? No. We can access in Britain? No. We can access Austria? Yes, let's get access through Austria. Let's see what they say. Uh, they said yes. Egypt left the coalition led by Great Britain. That's fine. I'm going to prove up over here in KOTOR. Where's our navy? There we are. So you're going to go to KOTOR. We'll just group up there all of our ships together. And cars is done. Uh, come down to Ursa. Big stack. So when you have a really good chance of taking it, when it's you know almost no chance of, of losing, it's it's it turns the text green and it says you have a high chance of winning. So that's the best time to do it. And then we can split these guys up again. Send you to there. Send 20k yep. to Agora. We hold another skate. Yeah, yeah. One second. Oh god, 4,000. Uh, who is it? Jumping down as Lincoln and Fleet? I'm already through, but uh, I didn't get him. Hey. Oh, they're attacking us in Sinop. Interesting. Why would they do okay. that? 
they were they were sitting in the fort, and I guess they're trying to get out of the fort. But damn, they don't have a fucking chance. Do they? Okay, warp to a mod. Yeah, slaughtered. Lol. Okay, Ursaron. Yeah, Emic is gonna land with you too. That's cool. Just they're attacking there. us in Ursaron. There's cool. a raven in the system. He jumped in. I just missed him. Slaughtered him. Just jumped in here. And they're attacking us didn't, again. Didn't slaughtered him here. again. And now we should be able to take the city. Yep, got it. So they're going to group up some type of stack down here, probably like twenty or thirty thousand guys. But until they have it ready to go, we're not going to worry about it. Uh, fair chance. Nah, we'll wait a little bit. We'll get a little bit. Oh no, we have a. We've already breached the walls. Yeah, just push it. Once you breach the walls, He's it's on done. scan from the middle of the system. They never really defend once you breach the walls. Let's move on. Navy fleet. Just kill them. One of our dominance goals for naval dominance is taking Constantinople, but the problem with that is it's their fucking capital, and you can't like even if we had a hundred percent war score, we couldn't demand their capital. You know, it just, you can't click on it. So whatever. Same thing with uh, Sweden. Sweden has their capital Stockholm over here, and that's one of our naval dominance uh, tiles. But to get that, we had to fight like four wars with Sweden. Initially we took, you know, all of Finland and then we took uh, a big chunk up here and then we took everything down here and then all they had left was Stockholm and then we took Stockholm. But I mean it took a long time. Okay, Adalia. I got an Ares on scan. Yeah, jump in the line up. station. Jump in the line station. Oh, unpause. There we go. Chances really good. Take it out. Move on to Adana. A line top? Yeah. We're just, just going to sneak right through this country. Okay, DR. Like the fruit fleet pass. Can't get the fruit And yeah, we're, we're so close right, to I'm the on end game. My way to trade <laughs> There's history. like no resistance down here. Cool. Then again, we have beat these guys several times. Alright, so here they're getting a stack together. 7,000, that's fine. Or 6,000, whatever. Diyarbakir's done. That's great. Let's move you down to Mosul. Kayseri is done. Let's see if we can catch these guys. It looks like they're going this way. If we go like that, maybe? Wow, it's a big frick fleet. Docking up. <laughs> catch them. Okay, our navies have grouped up in KOTOR. That's fantastic. Uh, just group them together, and let's see if we can't fight their navy. That'd be cool. Like 30 of them. Alright, I don't know where they went, but they seem to be a little quicker than us. That sucks. I'll head over there. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they've got a, a decent stack now. Wow. I'd like to get a smart bomb battleship on that. Okay, Mosul. And, yeah, we'll bring some army down there at some point. In fact, uh, let's do that now. Some of these provinces... Some of these provinces, like Rhodos, Rhodes, you cannot take them. You can't hit the assault button unless you have a navy uh, blockading that port because, I don't know, whatever. But it's the same situation for uh, Malta and a few other provinces, um, Gibraltar. You have to blockade the port or else you won't uh, be able to conquer the, the town. And it's not just the assault button. You, all co you can also see our siege progress over here. And siege progress will stay at zero so long as you don't have a, a ship blockading the port. You have to blockade the port to make any siege progress at all. And that's okay, it's just... I don't know. It's just different. <laughs> Alright, we engage them up here. Let's see if we can double double army these guys. Oh, yeah, they, they killed a lot of us there, 8,000. But we have another army coming, so it should be fine. Oh, peace offer, I don't think so.
Alright, you're good. Let's go back here. Oh shit, they're slaughtering us again. Ow. Ow. Ow, we lost 12,600. They only lost 1,800. Jesus Christ. No, just stay there, dude. We will group up and fix it. Derp, derp, derp. Alright, group these guys up. Let's, um... Let's group up with this army. Looks like they don't really have a navy anymore. I'm not sure what happened. I sure as heck have not fought. There's their stack. I sure as heck have not fought. Um, oh, we breached the walls in Mosul. Cool. I sold that shit. I have not fought their navy since they had that 36 ship stack. I just didn't bother. So I'm not sure where it's hiding. Uh, let's see if we can engage these guys again. A, a um, freak fleet. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, they still have to unlock me on station. I locked him back, but they're going to send a few more ships in there, I guess. Try and get me to aggress. But okay, Adana has aggressive. fallen. So now we have a Obviously. decent enough army to take these guys. So let's do that. We'll hold in Diyarbakir, and then we'll move in as a group. This is a, um, a Russian Rose. Rose. The, um, the right. Russians and... Russian kind of Baltic road. They, oh, no, they're assaulting. They, on a regular yeah. basis, they, they do this. This would be fun that. to fight if we had an <laughs> equivalent fleet to destroy it. I think the I think the Raven. Yeah. So they just come back. Is fine. Um, with them. Could be a bait Raven. Yeah. Uber tanked and just waiting for the rest of them to show up. Yeah, maybe. It says we have a decent It's a good thing to, to note for future reference if we see a raven poking around. Nice. Oh no, hang on, he's just aggressed. The raven's just aggressed, that's funny. Alright. Oh, he's getting killed by them all. <laughs> I have to think about what kind of goals we want for this. Uh, I definitely want to take this strip. Yeah, the one that'll leave us station quite, quite a bit, actually. Quite a bit of war score left to play with. No, there's some of them still here. Are you undocted scissors? Yeah, I'm just outside the uh, station right now, watching these guys. <laughs> Sinope is done. It fell naturally. That's cool. Didn't have to hit the assault button. You guys come kill this... Uh, I'm not sure where the they're going. The died. Just go this way. Uh, go there. That should give us 50-something K up here. That'll be easy to take out that army. That's a lot of Tech 2 frigs yep. playing on it. Yep. Fuck this army, man. They must have, like, See, that's more my thing right there. Traps on. Yeah, there's too many defenders. Give me a Blarpy or a Harpy. Or, I mean, a no, Blarpy or a Hawk or... Back in the day when rifters were worth a damn, that was fun. It wasn't expensive. Alright, we've caught them. Very good. Yeah, we got them this time. Where are they running to? Our division. Alright. And they're they're still running. Okay. Ah shit. Oops. Attacking us here. And they died. Lol. Well. 
not sure where they're going with this army. It doesn't tell you their final destination. They just keep wandering around. Um, yeah, I'm at a loss to where they're going. So we'll just follow them a little bit, I guess. And our navy just dock up in roads. I don't know. What's our war score? 78. All right. We just need to get to 90, and then that'll give us all we need. Well, they keep asking for peace, but that ain't going to happen. Trapson's done. It fell naturally. Very cool. Uh, uh, maybe we'll go for the islands? I don't know. Let's come down to Adana. Bring our navy over there. Um, actually, let's pick, pick, pick up our other transport ships. We left four transport ships back here. You, sir. Um, come down to Adana as well. We'll jump in back into Akina. Interesting. Maybe they're doing a limited range. <laughs> some of them warped to the mod gate, and some of them warped to the kill gate, so they're probably bracketed us now. Cover all the bases. Alright, so that's six yep. transports total, I think. Come down here and take Cyprus. Oh, there's their navy. There they are. Hello. Hello. They only have 14 ships in the line. Hmm. Ah, oh, we lost. Damn. Can't believe they killed the raven. I wanted to kill that raven. I wanted to kill anything. At least the what killed me, but I don't see the damn people anymore. I think they died. The, uh, the cinema is definitely gone. I mean, he's, he's not around here now. I'm just hoping that free fleet tore him up. Quite possibly. I'll look at the kill board. Where are they running to? Mosul, alright. We have the walls breached in Beirut, but there's too many defenders. <laughs> they keep asking for peace. 83%. And they're still running. Come on, catch those motherfuckers. They're quick. Oh, they evaded us too. See that? Evaded. Well, where are they going? Doesn't tell us. Oh, we caught them. Sweet. The, the, the raven as there well we was on the gate with like a lot of freaks. They couldn't engage him because he wasn't negative. So the gate ones would have killed all of them. And, and he just sat there and aggressed one of them. <laughs> Yeah, that's the dumbest Five. thing I've seen someone right. do in a while, to be honest with you. Caught them again. Not killing very many of them each time we fight, but whatever. Who was the guy who killed you again? The guy that killed me was... Hang on a sec. It's yeah. light in blues a couple places up. Yeah, he just died. Huh, I feel better. Adrian Corneth. Uh-huh. 89. One more percent is all we need. There we go. Alright, we've got 91. That should give us whatever we want. Uh, give me roads. So they got this system bracketed pretty good? I think so, yeah, not, not entirely sure to be honest, but he's just called them scrubs for blobbing. That's 105. Oh, he's so sad. Mm. He'll deal with it. Maybe we'll leave that one for later. No, leave that one for later, yeah. 
98. Alright, that'll do. Let's do that. Give me a little bit of gold. And that's all they have is 100 gold. Alright. Excellent. The British now leading power of the seas. How? Really? My current dominant score, 85. Oh, because during the war we held Constantinople. I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where else do we have naval goals? Copenhagen. All right, let's go take Copenhagen. Group up these armies. Actually, no, let's get them on a boat. I'm on a boat. All right, you motherfucker, come up to here. You motherfucker, come over to Smyrna. You can chill in van. You can come up to... Come up here somewhere. Yeah, come to Bel Belgrade. Is that all we had was four armies? Wow, we lost a lot of troops down here. How well, they'll replenish. We have a million manpower just in reserve. That's hilarious. We have some armies over here. Let's come over here and pick up one of these armies. Come to the Bava or whatever. Pick up these derps. 38k. Come up here. Just circle around. We're not fighting any of those guys. We don't need them on that front. And let's get another army going. Shit. Derp a derp. Let's uh, sort by morale. Get me some guards. You just click on the province you want, and then click. So, on what's unit usually you want. the uh, really normal easy. roam time for the group on weekends? Um, about eight to slot. Cavalry, some light cav. Four times is about between and seven and eight, and then we get off by eight. Heavy cav. Eve time, right? Yeah. Russia's got great cavalry skills, so we're gonna get some cav for sure. And then still hoping to be around for a room tonight. Do you know if we're doing anything? I, I'm still getting the forms and everything up, so I haven't looked yet. I don't everything think you can, recruit, you can only recruit in provinces where you have Something a core. Happen, though, I'm sure, Luckily but, for Russia, um, they have it, it has been a little quiet, cores, but I'm sure so be, that's not a problem. Something will happen. I'm just not sure what. But a lot of countries don't have a ton of cores. Um, Official uh, roams are usually points. posted in the meshes of the day in Blues and Fleet. Alright. Let's get some cheap infantry. The one thing I may do now is go get a real mouse because this battery operated one stick in every do five idea. seconds. Um, yeah, that's a pain. Ship it's cost, a pain. Ship destruction type. No, fuck that. Shock Although ideas. I just want to make sure that I have the ship type made up for yes, later. Yes, yes, yes. That's why I was curious. Goodness. Do you know what? To, I'm gonna look up tomorrow's. Looking, looking blues. And once we've picked ah, up these dudes. Better. <laughs> Okay, okay, so it looks like we're doing uh, incursion ganking tonight. Once we picked up these an dudes, as well. uh, we can start our war weeks. with Denmark. 1.2 bill. That was the uh, vex or the symbol that got lost. The symbol that yeah. got me got killed. We've already got our troops ready, we just have to get these guys out of the way of France. Because I'm pretty sure France is going to join against us, and so will Prussia. Just an afterburner, just a, just a micro-warp drive, RF point. Oh, that's a good RF point. If Prussia is going to be against us, teams. we're going to need both these armies yeah. over here. Ah, Jesus. That's, that's how to make an expensive symbol. I do feel from a little bit, I mean, you know, the last thing you want in a, in a symbol Regardless of how expensive it is, is a massive freak blob. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I feel for him a little bit, and I'd really have sympathy if he hadn't just blown me up. So, <laughs> it only goes so far. You know what I mean? It's one of those, I'm so There's sorry for your loss. Come on up. Kind of moments. Twenty-three people on his mail. Still, if he can afford to field it, he can afford to replace it. Alexander the First. Yep. The two emperors met in Tilsit, and Alexander the First of Russia became dazzled by Napoleon's genius and overwhelmed by his apparent generosity. He was completely won over. Napoleon knew well how to appeal to the imagination of his new friend. The two of them would divide the world, and they would emperors of the East. Relations between Russia and France changed by a hundred. 
Really? Hey. Really? Hey. Relation with Britain. Okay, let's. So, Panama, did you work, kill work our all the way Britain. back yesterday? Insult. Yes. All the way back from. Had to do. Join coalition. Uh, I've been to Gonya. I've been to Gonya. Yeah, I, I stopped probably because we had a war last night. Recently. And I logged on this morning. I well, went back to increase relations. Um, and now and it I'm says it'll increase it by Kino plus again. five per month. Four okay, twelve months. Okay, because I'm still in Had to do. I'm going back to Gonya. Okay, just be just be careful. We'll do that. So we're going to get twelve months of increased relations. We're going to bring it up by sixty total. In a kilo right now. But it takes time. Okay, thank you. All right, you guys can't die. So just get on the damn boat. Go from memory to mod and then stop there. I've got eyes on them. So they right might invite in us to the coalition. That'll be and cool. And there's a couple of them in um, A mod. Come on up. I to I'm guessing that mod is probably here. clear. What, what are you flying? Uh, I'm flying my <laughs> those slow Omeros. Oh, let's you need to scout some back now because you're going to die on the Yeah, I guess so. Actually, let's see if the France will invite I'll us to stay the here and just No, no, let's just attack. Now. Fuck it. I mean, alternatively, you could leave it there and pod back, and then we'll go and pick it up later on for you or something. We'll go for Rome and pick it up. Yeah, France joined against we'll us. Later Damn on, it. It'll be either very late tonight or tomorrow. It's fine, though. Yeah, no, it's no problem. I don't think we're going to use it anyways. Okay. Cool. Or you could clone jump and then clone jump back to it one night when I'm down there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the freak blobber jump. They just jumped in the Yeah, and you, want, you don't want to get down anywhere else. Let's follow that army to Odense. France, Spain, Denmark, Algeria, Portugal, the Netherlands, Italy, Naples, Switzerland, Tuscany. Yeah, it's the same war as before. I was kind of hoping France wouldn't join, but oh well. Prussia, Prussia didn't join. That's kind of disappointing. We might just have to declare war on them at some point. When we're done with Denmark, anyway. Okay, we've engaged their navy. They're dead. Come on over. We have 59k dudes here. Wow. Can we assault? Nah. Well, maybe. Oh yeah, high chance. All right, let's do it. Kill them. And Copenhagen falls. Cool. Odens. Too many troops there. Um, bring over the big stack. And the small stack, go to Parhus. You guys, come on over here. So we're, we're at war with France. That could be a real pain in the butt. But it depends what they actually bring. Because they're at war with a lot of other people, too. Oh, yeah, come on up here. Kill those guys, and then come on back. Uh, can we assault it? Yeah. Oh, we lost a ton of troops in that. Wow. Almost 10,000 guys died for that. It's okay, though. Arhus, any chance? Mm, yeah, just do it. Okay, Arhus is done. Come on down to Lubeck. And I'm going to dock up our ships. Uh, just in Malmo, that's fine. We should probably upgrade Malmo a little bit. I'm just going to throw some money away. Upgrade uh, our ports a little bit. Because we're going to need them if we're going to be fighting Britain at some point. So they have a lot of troops defending each of these places. It's fine, I guess. Oh, they're attacking us over here. 
And we killed a lot of them. Finishing some of these armies that we recruit. Well, not armies, but some of the brigades are finishing. They're gonna group up in Vilna or wherever the fuck. Oh, right. Oh, shit. France is already here. Yeah, France has a lot better troops than we do. This could be a problem. Oh, the only place we have progress is Kiel. We're gonna have to bring our troops out of there. Lol. I just swing these guys over too. All right, now they're not. All right, we're finishing more troops. Very good, very good. And yeah, France has a lot of dudes right here because they're currently fighting Prussia. Understandable. We need to finish these dudes off. Let's uh, let's go back. Let's retreat a little bit. They want peace. You want to give us our who's well, to start. I want more than Arhus, though. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, this siege. You're kidding me. Wow, we lost 13,000 guys. It's, it, it told me it was green. It said, you know, you have a high chance of winning. It still says that. Do it again. Why are you guys failing so hard? Jesus Christ. We're going to have to fall back after that and regroup a little bit. Lick our wounds. Damn. Oh, that was painful. Well, if we don't need these guys on the German border, we should move them. Oh, yeah, some guys are going down here, aren't they? Yeah, I have two gathering points for our armies. One down here. I don't need this one down here anymore. Let me disable that. Oops. There we go. Everyone is going to Vilna, Vilnius. And let's get our troops to the coast here and just pick them up and bring them over to Denmark. Yes, yes, you're arriving in Vilna. Good for you. Yes, yes. All right, get on the boat. And we're going to go... Uh, yeah, just come dock in our in our house. Land on their face. Ow. And you can come down here, that's fine. Okay, we arrived in our house. Uh just come over here. Kick their ass. Okay, and let's see if we can't get these French to undock. Wouldn't that be fun? Actually, we can get them to undock. We're definitely going to do that. <laughs> Alright, France. You ready for this, France? We're going to send our ships out here to the water and our dudes over here. And when our dudes land, it's going to force the ships out. There we go. There we go. Oh, France has not undocked yet? So they'll arrive, they'll arrive tomorrow. There we go. Oh, we didn't kill him. He got away. Damn it. No, he didn't. He died. No, he didn't. He's right there. Damn. All right, we'll go there then. It's fine. Come down and help with that siege. As soon as the walls break, we'll give it a shot. Should be easy. Oh! We have now taken over the lead in land dominance. Sweet. 
Alright, the walls broke. Siege that ship. Should be easy. Yeah, you never really take much damage when the walls are busted. Looking good. We just need to get naval dominance over Britain. But, you know, we do qualify for naval dominance. Oh, I guess we take Lubeck. We'll go take Lubeck then. That'll bring us real good points. Alright, come on out. They're going to undock that navy. Hello. And you're dead. We killed both of them. Cool. Alright, go pick up another army. Go pick up these guys. And we have another army about to finish over here. I, I try to keep them about 30k or so. Like that. 33k. That's fine. Get them some leaders. Whatever. I haven't really gone into how to pick a good leader. I honestly don't know. I'm too new to this, you know. I'll figure it out at some point. Places. They have a lot of defense, though. Yeah, we're not going to assault that. They have too much defense. Okay, get on the boat. And we're going to go to... Hmm, where's another dominance point? Prussia. I'm not sure I want to declare war on Prussia, though. I kind of need to get rid of some of Britain's naval dominance points. So let's click on them. They have naval dominance points all along here, and in Gibraltar, and in Malta, and in Cyprus. Well, these are the only ones they currently have, and Gibraltar. So I guess we should take one of those. That's going to have to wait until after the war with Denmark is over, because we have to join France's coalition. Oh god, negative 53. I got it right, okay, do back later, guys. Wow. See you. Okay, then let's go take Iceland. Yeah. I'm not sure what that fleet is, Divac, but oh. you might want to scout yourself back. Britain's uh, already there. Just jumping in. Damn. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. I'm going to go get a sandwich from Subway anyway, so that should give him plenty of time. Yeah, I mean, oh, there's so many silent. of them that even, even though you're cloaky, you did a good chance. They still knocked me out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, back to me, guys. That's it. Got the walls broken in Lubeck. Yeah, take that shit. And get off the boat. Alright, Lubeck is done. That's another naval dominance point for us. Let's go to Rostock. What's going on? Nothing much, I guess. Alright, back on the boat. Oh, hello France. Hello France. When do they arrive? Two days. Alright, we'll wait one day. There we go. Now, go dock. Speed back up. Should land right on their face. Yes. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Pause. Oh my god. They brought a billion troops. <laughs> Wow. Wow, they brought so many troops. <laughs> oh, well, the walls are busted over here. Take that shit down. Um, Probably going to want to get on the boat, because I assume they're going to... Yeah, they're coming to attack us here. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I can't retreat for a few days. Oh, and they're attacking us in Kiel. Oh, this is not good. We might lose our siege here. Oh my god. Yeah, we just lost our siege in Kiel. Alright, fuck it. Fuck it. Can we demand anything from them? No. Alright, let's see if we can demand anything from Denmark. This turned tits up in a horrible, horrible quickness. Well, they won't really give us much, because they suck. We'll do that, I guess. Damn it. If 
Fucking hell, man. It's all green light. And I said, yeah, no problem. You'll take it. And then all of a sudden, 40,000 troops out of nowhere. God damn. Yeah, you get on the boat. And you guys are just going to have to retreat. We lost 54,000 guys. Wow. Just fucking wow. Okay, you're on the boat. Come back over here and heal. For fuck's sake, man. Still dominating these guys, but damn. Oh, that's what it was. France brought troops over. Oh, yeah, well. That's what France does, right? I mean, they have a huge fucking army. Let's just peace out, Denmark. Get out of this war with them, and we can come back to them later. Give us some gold. Very good. And we're going to have to heal up. That was so painful. Our fucking war exhaustion went through the roof with that. Let's peace out, France. You guys want peace? No. Alright. Can I give you one gold? No. Alright, whatever. such lofty goals, you know, and it just all gets fucking slaughtered. Can't fit everyone on the boat. We'll fit most of them. Come back to... I don't care. Come to Riga to heal. Doesn't matter to me. You guys are building up. Is that... I think that's the entirety of all of our armies, huh? Yeah, we're not recruiting anymore. Alright, so we're done recruiting. That's fine. Damn, that sucks. Fighting France on the ground is tough, man. They are... They are beastly. It looks like they have most of their troops up here, whereas Austria and Prussia have most of their troops down here, because they're just going right through all of France's shit. Look at all this. It's all conquered by Austria. This is all conquered by uh, Prussia. Prussia's up here. Uh, it's actually France up there. So yeah, France has all their troops up in the north. That's a problem for us, because that's where we want it to go. But it's okay. We'll just piece them out eventually, I guess. I mean, they will eventually accept peace, because they're not going to get anything out of us. Oh, new idea time. Cool, cool. Artillery, what's this going to be? Artillery defense, uh, supply, land attrition, supply train capacity. Yeah, let's get that up a bit. Oh, you've already landed in Riga. Okay, come pick up these dorks. Actually, yeah, come pick them up. They're, they're trashed. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, they got Lubeck back. Whatever. On to boats with you. I think we'll go. I think we'll go for Prussia. Might as well. But I do want to peace out France first because this is don't need to be fighting too much at the same time.
wish it was an auto leader button. Just put all the leaders in for me. I'm a little lazy. Uh, come on down here. That should be good. I think we're positioned decently well. Actually, we'll take you down to press the box or whatever. Oh, we have access to that. Let's cancel that. Yes. We're at plus... We were at plus 200 with them. I guess because we were fighting the same enemy. Not anymore. Fables, Ivan Krylov. A collection of fables, a total of 23 short stories have been published by Ivan Krylov. The collection was met with much such success that the writer has decided to pursue his writing full time. The wisdom and humor, the style and language and engaging story Ivan Krylov possesses, and both. Okay. Kind of lost me there at some point. Okay, yeah, we're definitely in position now. Sheena, peace out, France. What about if we uh, concede defeat? No, we can't. Oh. Nope, they don't want that either. Alright, well, whatever. Fuck you, France. Oh shit, we still have troops over here in Amsterdam? Well, let's go pick them up. What the fuck am I doing with troops in Amsterdam? I have no idea why I have troops in Amsterdam. They've probably been there a long ass time. Alright, let's go. At least our war exhaustion is going down. God damn, that's high. Alright. Oh, France is invading Saxony and Austria. protected by anyone? Britain and Austria. Oh, goodness. Denmark will concede defeat. Yeah. Alright, so we don't have a truce with the Ottomans anymore. Let's go back to war with the Ottomans. Yo, bitches. You're not protected by nobody. Nobody. Oh, they stopped us from going in. Uh, we're gonna need our navy. Yo, navy. Navy? Oh, there they are. Navy. Come on down. To here. Marmara. Let's see if we can go around. Go this way. Sneak around. They might let us across. Oh, here we go. France and Prussia have peace. Prussia will see Torgo, Einsach, Halle, Jena, Saalfeld, blah, 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 and Oldenburg. All right, so they lost some stuff over here. They gave up some of Saxony's territory as well. So does that mean you're at peace now? No. Do you want peace? No. Can I give you a gold? No. Do you want defeat? No, they don't. They just want war. They want to press into Austria. 
Well, whatever. Oh, they might let us across? No, they're going to block us. Damn it. Alright, well, we'll send 36 this way. Oh, we caught a navy. Lol. Caught another navy. And we arrived in Konya. Siege it. Caught another navy. Konya's down. Caught another navy. That could be a problem, though. If we get into too many naval battles on the way over here, we could get really weak. Could lose a lot of morale. Siege that. Ow. There we go. So let's see if we can get across with both. Now they're not going to let us. Oh, they did. They let us across. Yay. why they let us across, but whatever. Oh, their navy's going somewhere. in one little ship at a time. Yeah, we've taken some damage, but we're okay overall. Should probably go dock up somewhere. Go dock up in uh, Corfu. Get healed up. Before we engage them. Or before we engage the Ottomans. Decided to fight us. Interesting. We just fucking slaughtered him. Wow. have a chance to take it right now. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Alright, let's split you guys up. And the rest is just academic. Hey, we got another idea. Let's go for supply again. Supplies are good. So Prussia is out of the war. They're not, they don't have any alliance to them. They're still protected, though. Yeah. Oh, well. 2,800 guys. We'll wait. I don't want to fail another fucking siege. Oh, they have 24,000 guys. Cool. I guess we'll get a fight out of them. With this stack. I think I want to catch him. Maybe I don't want to catch him. <laughs> no, still not going to chance Mosul. Oh, we caught him. Cool. 
Wow. We got them. They're running to Kayseri. Oh, we have troops going to Kayseri. Perfect. Then we will attack these guys instead. Oh, they are also running to Kayseri. Interesting. So we will do that. Super round. All right, so we've actually arrived in Kayseri first. It's kind of cool. And here they go, landing on our faces. Sit on my face and tell me that you love me. I'll sit on your face and tell you I love you, too. They are retreating again. All right. Oh, they've changed course to Adana. All right, we'll follow. And we caught them. Victory and Kozan. They are running to Kayseri. That's fine. Hopefully we can catch them. They are quick, though, these Ottomans. Um, actually, no, that's a bad idea. Oh, I can't retreat. Shit. Prussia declared war on Hessen. Really? Why would you do that, Prussia? Because Hessen is weak? Could that be why? Yeah, that's why. Oh, we missed him. Damn it. Okay, let's follow them. I'm not sure where they're going. Probably Angora. Yeah, they're going Angora. And we caught them in Kayseri. Very good. They're running to nowhere. They're just going to stay in Kayseri. Oh, now they're dead. Lol. Okay. Let's run up to Angora. See if we can't pinch these guys in. Oh, they have cannons. That's what it was. I didn't see this number. So that's where those 3,000 guys came from. It surprised me. I saw the 1,000, but... It was the cannons that they that they had. Fair enough, fair enough. We're at 76% already. Damn, this goes fast. That's what she said. Uh, yeah, pinch them in. Get this shit done. And that's good enough. Let's run to... Oh, we don't even need to come down here. Egypt has taken over down here. So we'll be done soon. In fact, we'll be done very soon. Uh, where's our navy? There they are. You guys are healed up. Very good. Come here to Adana. We'll bring you down. You're running to Yidze. Yidze over here. Gotcha. The bridge is perfect. St. Petersburg first bridge. National tax modifier. Plus 5% for a whole year. Cool. And they're still running. Seventy-nine percent. We need eleven more percent if we want to get everything out of this war. Um, go over here. I guess we can try to take Crete and Cyprus. That'd be nice. Get on to boats. Go over here. Ottomans will see Gaza, Ziba, Yapa, and Man. So they only took. They took two things. They took Yaffa and Gaza, which gave him a nice chunk of land, actually. So good job, Egypt. Okay, we've got 2,000 defenders. Damn it. We'll have to wait. Uh, you guys just come to Beirut. Actually, come blockade them over here. And we will send some troops down and fuck up their navy. Okay, come to, uh, come to Kudus. If 
France, you want peace yet? No. Can I give you a gold? No. Can I concede defeat? No. Yeah, they're still still being little whiny bitches. You declared war on our ally. You suck. Oh, I don't have a truce with Denmark anymore. Lol. Go to war with Denmark again. Definitely be doing that, that's for sure. As soon as we're done up here. Ninety-four percent. Alright, we can take whatever we want. So let's well Yeah, let's just take whatever we want. We can always come back for more later. Get that. Hundred and two. Ninety two. Hundred and eleven. Well, what's the cheapest? Cheapest is this stuff down here by Egypt. Um It doesn't really matter what we take, as long as we take something. Let's just go with this. 99 war score. It looks hella ugly, but whatever. Done. Poor Ottomans. I assume they at some point will move their capital, but maybe not. I guess if they don't, that's fine, too. Alright, Mr. Navy. Uh, pick up these armies. Don't leave them stranded. And let's get these dudes out of here. You can just chill in Kudus. You guys can chill in... Up here, I guess? I don't care. Uh, you guys come back over here. We'll need you for Constantinople. Go this way, please. Just chill. I should go over here. Chill in Adir, that's fine. And... Yeah, we'll pick up this army. Then we'll go invade Denmark. Again. It's too bad about France. We could have been part of their coalition. The hell? Spain wants peace. Russia will concede defeat. No, I don't think so. I'll concede to France, but not to Spain. No. France has no interest. Oh, Spain's getting invaded by Britain. Look at that. Go, Britain. How are we doing with Britain? Negative 22. Eh, whatever. I'm gonna guarantee some of these. I should have guaranteed Hessen when I had the chance. Shit. Very, uh. Guarantee. Just to give us some optional wars. Saxony. Not really sure that's gonna matter. They're a satellite, aren't they? A satellite, yeah, it doesn't matter. Alright, so if, if Prussia declares war on Nassau or something, after they're done with Hessen, then we can go to war with Prussia, no worries. I should have done that from the start, but I'm kind of dumb. Oh, still fighting little navy battles. Nothing significant, though. They don't really want to undock for us. They have nine ships there. They don't want to undock. Three more. They have ships everywhere. They're just small navies. Thirteen. They just don't want to fight us. Maybe they're transport ships? I don't know. Oh, whatever. We're 
almost there. Oh my god, we keep... They keep evading us, but it still pops up a window as if we fought anything. It's just, they're just evading every single day. Okay. You guys can heal up right there, that's fine, and we will... Wow, we have 1.167 million reserves. Wow. Uh, let's pick up this army. face. Oh, they undocked on us. Okay. Good for you. You're now dead. Probably not what you wanted, but it's what you got. Oh, and they want to fight us right away. Okay, let's pick up this army. And we slaughtered them. And slaughter them again. Get on to boats. And where are they going? They're going down to Malmo. Alright, let's go kick some ass. Landing on their face, killing their face. Their face is dead. And they're dead. Yay! Let's go take Copenhagen. Can we assault it? Yes. Burn it down. And let's march down to Hamburg. And we can heal up our ships. Oh. Won the Battle of Kudus. We're at war with Egypt? <laughs> Egypt and Denmark. Best friends forever. Um, okay then. Let's swap you guys out. I guess we'll invade Egypt. Hurrah! Hopefully France won't fuck with us down here, but they might. We'll see. It's a separate war now, completely separate, Denmark and French. Oh shit, they have 70,000 motherfuckers right there. Holy shit. Let's pick up another army. Pick up these guys. And let's bring these guys to the front. And you guys can rotate up to here, and you can rotate up to here. Rotate up to Rika. They're thinking about attacking us. Look at this, they have 95,000 guys there. Wow. stack, and we will come right over here. Okay, can we siege that? Yes, take it down. Failed. Wow, we lost 13,000 troops in that attack. Fucking fail. Oh, fuck me. Now we're 
we're losing to Egypt. I mean, how dumb is this? Ugh. Try the siege now? Yeah, try it. Got it. Okay. They want to give us just Hamburg. No, I want more than that. Okay, let's retreat our troops. And I assume France is going to come for us, but that's fine. We're going to come up here and take Denmark, or take Iceland. France ain't budging. They don't care. Separate war. Fine by me. I guess I could bring these guys down. Can't hurt. Strait of Iceland. Very good. Do they have an army up here? No. Okay, now we're slaughtering these guys. Good, good, good. There we go. Take that shit out. Move on to Gaza. Oh, 4,000 defenders? Really? I'm not going to dick around with 4,000 defenders. We'll just let it go slowly. Let's pick up another army. Let's get um, these guys. Okay, where to? Damietta, very good. Okay, and then to Cairo. That'll be the end of Egypt. Okay, get on the boat. Oh, you don't have a general. Oh, let's get the general. I don't really care who, just... People. Bodies. Warm bodies. And let's go hold up in Kiel. You guys come to Hamburg, it's fine. We arrived in Cairo. They have 10,600 defenders. Wow. We're going to slow siege that one, that's for damn sure. Oh, we don't need that other army, do we? Um, the one that's marching all the way around. No, 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 just go back. Don't need ya. Let's put you in here. Actually, let's put you in Adirn. As originally planned. Okay, Cairo's at walls are broken already. Wow. Now we're not going to chance it with 10,000 defenders. Okay, new idea. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what would be the next attrition idea? Reinforce speed, naval attrition, naval range, casualty, trickle back, naval movement, don't care. Economic, pretty good economy. I don't really need any economic ideas. Scorched Earth, nah. Experience gain, peace cost, morale of armies. Eh, be good in the long run. I don't really see this having a long run situation, though. Shock ideas, prestige from land battles, prestige from naval battles, counter well, Prestige, I don't really care about. We have a ton of prestige. Ship costs. Let's do some artillery. We certainly use artillery. Cairo's done 100% on these guys. Can't annex them, though. That must occupy all of their land. We talking about? Oh, all of this shit? We're not going to go over there. I don't know. Um, we'll just 
just take whatever we can. Namely, that stuff. And I guess Cairo controls all the rest of this? Wow, that's a lot of land for one town. So we'll do all that. Release the Ottomans? No. Annul treaties. Yes, and give me all your money. some more land. Hurrah! Ooh, Austria's getting invaded hardcore. Lol. Looks like Prussia is losing their war against Hessen, which is just funny as hell. And we're not making any progress up here. And we've lost 7,000 guys already. God damn. Fucking attrition up there is terrible. Uh, let's pick up another boatload of dudes. Let's just take the big army. Get on the boat. We're going to come back up to Iceland. Actually, we can do it from there. It's fine. See if we can force their hand up here. Well, now they joined France's coalition, I'm afraid that these two wars are gonna get merged into one war. I've seen it happen before, where you just lose your your war against Denmark. I'd hate for that to happen. Stay separate wars, please. Stay separate. Four thousand defenders. Why do they have so many defenders in these towns? That's ridiculous. Whatever. We'll head over there. We'll see if we can take it down with both armies together. That would be preferable. Eighty-nine percent. That's fine. And they want peace. Yeah, I don't think so. I want Copenhagen. Nothing less. Wow, it takes a long time to walk over there. Yeah, let's try it. Good luck, sir. Oh my god, the casualties. Oh, painful. Got it. Lost 6k. Eh, just try it. I'm sick of waiting on fucking Iceland. I'm losing so many troops up here. Italy is in Hamburg. Really? Really? 1,200 guys. Alright. We lost 10,000 guys, and they're still holding strong. Fuck me. This, the attrition is just so bad, I just want to fucking siege it down. Uh, pick up another army. Pick up these guys. Fucking Italy, man. Caught him. Yay, bye bye, Italy. Sometimes you gotta be sneaky like that. Okay, our navy has arrived. Come on up here, boy. We won't be able to annex Denmark because the cost of their provinces will be too high. But we should be able to get everything other than Copenhagen. 
Britain disbanded their coalition against France. Oh, Austria and France have peace. Wow. Yeah. Oh, and they're invading us down here. I didn't even notice. Let's piece you guys out. Oh, they would accept concede defeat. All right, so we just need to finish up this war with uh, Denmark really quickly, and then we can peace out France. That'll be nice. Okay, siege it. Let's get it done. Ow. Whatever. Whatever. Done. 100%. All right. Cannot annex. Of course not. We can take these. 40! That's 40% 40 war score? Holy shit. Oh my god, they won't even give us everything. They'll just give us... Fucking hell, man. That is insane that those are worth 20 each. It's gonna be a two more wars before we get everything from them. My god. Fine, whatever. Do we need Hamburg? No. That sucks. Okay. We'll just do those, and then we'll come back for this place later. You suck, Denmark. Okay, so we have half of Iceland. And let's peace out Russia, or France. Yep, concede defeat, that's fine. They get a whole lot of prestige. Oh, now they rejected our fucking peace offer. France, you little shitholes. Ugh. I don't want to have to deal with this right now. I really don't want to have to deal with this right now, France. I would like to do other things. Austria declared war on Bavaria. Why would you do that? Prussia honored the alliance with Bavaria. So Prussia and Austria are now at war. That's interesting. Okay, we'll bring you guys down to Kiel, I guess. No, actually, we need them down here. We really need troops over here. Uh, let's put them as defensively positioned as possible. Let's put them down here. Give us some time to fall back if we need to, because this, this could be a real pain in the dick. Fucking hell, France. Why won't you take the peace offer? Oh, they won't even take it if we give them a province. Huh. How about money? Do you like... I have lots of money. You want some money? No, they don't want anything. They just, they just want war. Well, why would it say they would take peace earlier and now they won't? God damn it. We can invade France. <laughs> that would be entertaining. They really do a good job of killing stuff with their armies of doom. I guess we could fight this. I mean, it's a lot of do. We should really recruit another army. Um, let's put a gathering point. We don't need a gathering point up here anymore. Let's put a gathering point down here. In there, I guess. And recruit a whole bunch of shit. Lots of heavy cav. And some horse artillery for the lulls. And 
with some regular old infantry brigades. Uh, that'll do for now. Uh, I'm wondering if we should join against Austria, just, you know, for something to do. I mean, we... I wanted to join against Prussia. Oh, shit, look at all these armies. I mean, that's more than we can deal with right now. They really don't want peace, do they? Oh, yeah, they will. Okay, it's fine. You can have some gold. There you go. Whatever. I don't care about gold. And now... Let's see. Wow, we have truces with everyone. No, we don't have truces with the Ottomans. We go over with the Ottomans if we want. Or we go over with Austria. Let's go over with Austria. Alright, we're going to defend. Yes. Alright. Prussia's the leader. Damn it. I think we're just really falling behind on actual number of troops that we have. We have a ton of manpower reserve. We have a lot of money coming in. But uh, we just don't have a whole lot of troops. That could be a real pain later on. Like, France has an ass load of troops. And I guess we're just not recruiting enough troops. Uh, I'll keep that army there. We'll just slowly bring shit down, I guess. Come on down. Come to there. To Lublin. Don't have any armies up there. These guys should probably stick around here. And we'll just bring these guys down from Iceland, I guess. It's fine. Austria has shown us that you cannot be trusted. So we lost standings with Morocco of Austria. I wish we could form a coalition against Austria. That'd be hilarious. Oh, they're on Corfu. Yeah, good job. You know what? We're going to go land on Corfu and just fuck up their day. Lol. Eat it, Austria. Oh, we arrived. Cool. Oh, it's 2000? Damn. We'll just slow siege it. No rush. 1000, that's more like it. they get off the island? Oh, I guess we, we killed them all, I guess. Or maybe they got off the island somehow. Maybe they got on the boats. I don't know. Uh, we'll go help in Ragusa, I guess. They have two ships of the line and 20 transports there. That's hilarious. In fact, we're going to fight that because that's just too fucking funny. Uh, let's get relations up with France. Negative 36. Um, increase relations. Alright, get off. Force out that navy. It's gonna be so fucking funny when we fight that. Here they come. 17 ships of the line versus 2 ships of the line. Lol. And they're dead. <laughs> and they're running somewhere, probably down here. Yep, they're docking in Ragusa. Cool. Still at war with Egypt and Britain. Well, hopefully you won't get annexed by Britain, because that would suck balls. And they're not really going to attack us up here, are they? I mean, they might. Most likely they're going to fight Prussia, not us. Which is fine, I guess.
We're just snaking our way through the east over here. We're already at 8%. Can we get anything? Nah, they won't give us anything yet. It's too early in the war. They still feel they have hope. They're actually making progress in Bavaria. Hmm. Bavaria becomes satellites. Huh. I'm wondering, does that automatically add a war goal for us to free Bavaria? I don't think so. It's not like uh, Victoria 2. I wouldn't mind having Bavaria as a satellite. That'd be hilarious. I might as well bring these guys up. Actually, no. I'm just going to go to war with the Ottomans. You're not guaranteed by anyone. Fuck it. What else am I going to do with these armies? There's certainly not uh, any lack of war in this game. I mean, it focuses on a period of history, the, the Napoleonic Wars, when there was just so much conflict going on. Austria formed a coalition against us. So I don't know how to do I don't know how they do that. I don't I do not see any option to form like an anti-Russian coalition. I don't know how to form an anti-Austrian coalition, you know? Can I just ask Prussia? Invite to coalition. There's no target for a coalition. <laughs> I have no idea. We're both at war with Austria. That sounds like a target to me. We're already at 10% on the Ottomans. We just started. They are running somewhere. Hmm. I should want to engage them. As soon as we're done with Diyarbakir, I'm going to go engage them. Oh, yes, we're grouping in Ismail. Cool. Okay. Good, 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 good. Siege it down. Siege it down. Two thousand defenders. No, I don't want to rush it. I don't want to lose troops. Oh God. Yeah. I wish there was like a warning, like, oh hey, you're about to be fucking ass raped by forty thousand motherfuckers. But no, that that is not included in the game as a as a warning. So we're gonna go ahead and retreat the fuck over to Kiev, if possible. Can I put that on? Force is trying to avoid battles. We are currently trying to avoid battles. Yes. Please retreat. Alright, Diyarbakir has fallen. Let's try to engage this army. Not sure where they're going, but we'll try to meet them somewhere. Maybe in Adana? We'll send you out to take these small towns. Hopefully we can evade. No, we're going to be one day late on evading. retreat. Yes, retreat. I'm not too good at using these options up here, but when you're losing that badly, we really need to just retreat. Alright, so where is this army? They're around here somewhere.
yes, yes, yes. You, you built stuff. Good for you. Fucking amazing. Oh, I guess we found them. Yeah, eat that. They are staying in Adana. They're fighting us again. Now they're running to Tarsus. Alright, follow. Lemberg. Oh, they're attacking our fort. That's fine. Alright, so they took Lemur back. That's fine. Alright, so they're going to attack us. That's cool. We will meet them on the battlefield. Maybe we'll retreat a little bit. Yes, we will be able to get away. Good. We're grouping up another army in Ismail. That's fine. Constantinople's going slowly. That's fine. Oh, you guys actually escaped. Well, poo. Oh, we're going to catch him. Cool. Alright, so you should regroup a little bit. Oh yeah, how's our army doing down here? Can we siege this yet? No. Alright, we'll wait. No rush. In the meantime, we're going to go pick up another army. They evaded us, damn it. They're running who knows where. That way, maybe. Oh, we got him. Okay. They're running to Tarsus. Alright, we'll follow. has fallen, and they're going back into Austrian lands. That's fine. Oh, they evaded us. God damn it. Alright, we caught them. Cool. Caught them as well. Very good, very good, very good. They're running to Rava Ruska. That's fine. We'll go back to Ravno. You can go back here, that's fine. Actually, come over that. No, go this way. Okay, very good. They're running to nowhere. Where are you guys going? I don't know. Okay, we have breached the walls here, that's fine. It's unfortunate my navy is not there anymore. We're not going to kill their navy now, that sucks. And they're attacking us again. And we took Ragusa, and our navy isn't there to fight their navy. Damn it. Damn it. It's okay. We will come to Essek, I guess. Whatever. Okay, Adana was a victory. There's still some more troops there, so we're just going to sit. Ursarum. Yeah, there's a lot of troops there. We can't siege that. They're fighting us again. We win again. Fighting us again. We win again. They're just going to keep doing that. Where's our damn boats? Slow ass boats. There they are. God damn it. Hurry up. We've really got this army trapped in Adana. They're just going to lose all their troops here. Works for me, man. Oh. They're being attacked. Oh, they're just sieging the fort. That's fine. And these guys have regrouped a little. That's good. 
They took Dubno. They're running to us. Okay, so we're going to have a battle royale here. Let's hold on that. Still have troops there. That's fine. Ursurum has the walls breached, but there's still armies in the way. 25,000. We'll wait until you get more dudes. Oh, now they're running a different direction. Interesting. Can we catch them? No. Hmm. Should be fine, I think. Alright, now that army's dead. Take it down. Oh, 7,000 defenders. Holy balls. already. The 14th War of Russian Aggression. That's hilarious. Yeah, we've been very aggressive in this campaign. That's for damn sure. Okay, we're going to go like this. I'm going to try to keep these armies close together. Ursurum has fallen. Very good. Let's head up to Kars. Thirty-four percent. All right. So they are going to leave troops here. That's fine. We're going to position on the other side of the river and see if we can't pinch these motherfuckers in. Like that. Alright, they've arrived. Can we pick up both armies? No. It's just too many troops. Alright, we'll take one army at a time. I'm just going to go right here to Ragusa. Actually, we can go to KOTOR and take out that navy. Lol. Anyway, um, I'm gonna end this here. Wow, two hours already. <laughs> this was just supposed to be an idea of what I'm doing in the game so far. I'm I'm very bad at it, but I would like to do a let's play of it at some point. Uh, not yet though. This is just you know very advanced in the game as Russia. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Chef from John Play signing off. You guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you. I don't know. I think I should have some free time on Tuesday to do some recording, so I'll definitely be doing that. Alright, bye-bye, guys.